Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. Welcome. Oh my God. To the Soul Brothers presents the official Shoe Awards of 2018. Yes, dude, 2018 went by real quick. A lot of bangers. Yes, yeah, shout out to the Soul Squad. Thank you guys for the continued support. We love you guys. But this is the best shoe award, or I guess shoe awards. It is very. This is a very famous series. It's gonna go. On. It's like as big as the Grammys, right? You know. That's it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the Oscars. Oh right? man, yeah. but we're gonna start wearing tuxedos. Yes. Yeah, we should have wore tuxedos. That would have been hard. <laughs> oh man, but anyways, let's get let's get it started. We have a long list, so let's get it started with the best bang for your buck, mm. which is not the cheapest, but you're getting the best tech and quality shoe for the price. Yeah. And this has to go to the Anta KT4. Uh, yeah. The materials feel like the LeBron 15 knit and the cushion is real nice. It's just overall, the, it's just built so well and it's only 125 bucks, 135, something like that. Only catches for people in the U.S. I don't know internationally, but you got to order it from China. Yes, uh, and you we guys, really we will leave links below to exactly. all these shoes. Exactly. Uh, we'll leave a reputable site that you can order from from China to get these. Exactly. So there's that. Next category is the best budget model. You guys already know it's it, it's in it's the best. It's not even close. It's not even close. It's so dirt cheap. Eighty dollars. Yes. Kyrie Flytrap bananas. Yes. Uh, you can't get it on Nike. They never dropped it on Nike. Um, there's really no fuss about it. But it's on Dicks. Yeah. Dicks Sporting Goods. Dicks, um, Famous Footwear. Famous Footwear. No, I don't think they have it anymore. No, probably not. Yeah, no. we sold it out. Yeah. <laughs> right when we We've put been the pushing that shoe. So I, I don't think they have, maybe they yeah. have some uh, new colorways. But anyways, there's that best performer. Ooh. Best overall. Um, Should yeah. we wait for that one? Uh, no, let's just do it right now. Okay. Uh, but I, can, I, can, I couldn't pick. Yeah. So for me, it's the Harden Volume 3 and the Kyrie 5. You guys already know. The awesome performance. But this guy is different. He I, hasn't tried those. I haven't tried those, so keep that in mind. Um, so that my opinion may change once I get those. i I just been kind of out with, with some injuries. But uh, the Kobe 360 for me was incredible. It, so I'm going to go with that. Did you guys know that, that shoe that came out this year? Yes. This, that shoe came out April 2018, which is insane. I was they like, dropped five Kobe's. He's year. like, I was like, best performers. What do you think? He's like, Kobe 360. I was like, that's net last year, bro. And he's like, no, it was this year. I was like, and then what? I was sure, I was like, was it last year? <laughs> uh, and we had to search it up, but yeah, it was April 2018, and then the Exodus came out August, which yeah. is kind of crazy. So it was out for like what? It's almost like they dropped it and they're like, yo, we made a mistake. Yeah. We gotta put something else out. It was like, like five, but six months, right? I, it was yeah, super yeah. expensive and I don't think they sold a ton of them. And uh, not a lot of colorways came not out. Not a lot of colorways. But anyways, next is Best Traccionis. Uh, very I, important category. Very, right very important. And we're going to do a whole separate list yeah. for you guys. But top is Kyrie 5, Harden Volume 3, and uh, Jordan Jumpman Hustle. We couldn't pick. Yeah. They're all really, really good. So uh, there's that. A uh, worst performer. Ooh, ooh. Ah man, you guys already know. I had to suffer in test <laughs> issue. Shoe that he hates. I mean, I appreciate KD making a real cheap budget model. It's not even that for cheap. For kids, not it's even not even cheap. crazy cheap. It's a hundred bucks. Yes, yeah, it's, it's more than the fly trap. Yeah. And just one third of the shoe. Uh, we didn't haven't said it yet. Is it? Uh, it's the KD Trey Five Six. Trey Five Six. I can't even remember the name. I try to block it out of my memory, but. Cushion horrendous. Traction uh, horrendous. Traction horrendous. Material sucks. Just garbage. Almost feels like paper mache or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, and not the best looking shoe. Do not buy that. Yes. All right. Best cushion. Uh, mine is definitely the Hardy Volume 3 with that uh, full length boost, but it's thin. It has a soft dribble board. But pretty bouncy in the heel. It's just everything that I want in a cushion. That's perfect for me. But for this guy, it, you know, you guys are. Yeah, Kobe 360. Now keep in mind, it's not the best for like gnarly, gnarly impact protection. But React is incredible and it's right under your foot. And I just love how thin and bouncy and uh, just got a great feel to it. It's also pretty damn light. Yes. All right, best fit. Best fit is very subjective, yeah. but it's we're gonna say for our feet, and we have slightly narrow feet. So for me, it's the Kyrie Five, LeBron Sixteen, KD Eleven, Harding Volume Three, Curry Five. They they all fit my foot really yeah. well. It, it it's really hard to choose from those. So it all goes to those. Yeah. Um. But anyways, best looking. 
For me, mm. it's a Kyrie 5. I love the way the Kyrie 5s look. Yeah. But for this guy, he loves the LeBron 16. Yeah, Le Le LeBron 16, can you believe? I I've been LeBron, slamming bro. LeBrons for so He's, long. For, since the 13, bro. Yo, the 13, man. Oh, man. Way to redeem yourself. Uh, but, yeah, the, 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 the new LeBrons are fire, man. Yeah. I, I rock them casually. That's one of the, if I can rock a, a, a hoop shoe casually, that's when I really know it, it looks dope. Yes. And on court, it's even better. And there's a ton of good colorways and, yeah. All right, most innovative. We have to say there's two shoes. It's the Kobe 360 and the Jordan 33. Yeah. The Jordan 33 with the, the lace system, the fast lace system was, it's a, it's, it works. It's really dope. Yeah. And, I mean, it'll, um, it works. It'll yes. strangle your foot. Exactly. Um, and then you can just pull the eject cord to loosen it up really quick. Yeah. Really innovative. Um, it, it does add moving parts and a little bit of weight, but nonetheless, it's something extremely innovative that we've never seen. So yes. There's that. Another shoe, uh, the other shoe that's pretty much, uh, you know, on par is the Kobe 360 in that, you know, there's a lot of new tech. You have uh, 360 degree, uh, what are they calling it? 360 flying. 360 flying. It's yep. so thin. It's really actually unbelievable. You can see right through the whole upper ventilation is off the charts. They also implemented full length, uh, a full length drop in react midsole which we've never seen and that's pretty much crazy so yes um, so those are the two most innovative all right heaviest shoe this year there's this is there's not, quite a few this really isn't an award it's so much yeah. as a uh a critique okay i guess but, that's but, the opposite right but hey uh, you know it's good uh, to, it's good to let, uh, it, put it, let it be known uh it's the jordan 33 coming in at 15.7 ounces and that's real heavy for uh, my shoes yeah so uh yeah there's that lightest is the kobe 360 coming in at 10.3 ounces we we know the mama rage the mama rage but uh, i really don't like that shoe and uh, i feel like it came out last year but i don't think it came out last year yeah, I, just, no. I don't want to put it on this list dude no um but yeah if, if you're looking for the real lightest shoe it's the mama rage it's like eight or nine ounces but don't get that i mean it's just violent cushion yeah so but the next shoe is to, uh, the kobe 360. Mm -hmm. In the Kobe AD Exodus is 0.1 ounces heavier than the 360, so there's that. Mm -hmm. A best off-court shoe, so like very comfortable and I guess like kind of looks dope casually as well. And uh, we gave it to the KD11. The full-length zoom feels very comfortable and it looks pretty dope, especially with the uh, cool colorways that have come out. So yeah, it's not too big yeah. and bulky. It's kind of like a low, so you can rock it with jeans or, or whatever. You know what I mean? Yes. And the knit looks dope. Doesn't look like such a, you know, performance basketball shoe. Yes. All right. Most disappointing. Hmm. Most disappointing, uh, I would say, it, we would say is the d -Rose 9 is because the d -Rose 8 was really, really good. We love the 8. And the nine came along. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It's not a horrible, horrible shoe, but it, it was. We were kind of disappointed at the performance because it wasn't like the best. Yeah, and we know? were. Our, we had our hopes up because it looked pretty crazy. Yeah, we were like, okay, the traction looks nice. Um, it's bounce cushion. It's bounce cushion. The upper looks crazy. Yeah. The design was dope, but it really took a step back from the eight. Yes. All right. Most improved. Hmm. Now, there wasn't a real shoe that was, like, vastly improved since the, the one before. Yeah. It was kind of hard to choose. So, yeah. So, we, we, we chose the Jordan 33. Yes. Because the 32 was okay, you know. Not our favorite. Not though. our favorite. Yeah. The 33, they really stepped it up, and uh, I, I don't know, it just feels um, a lot better on foot and just performing in it. Traction is a little bit better. More that supportive. lockdown system, yeah, more supportive. Yeah. That lockdown system is nuts, the new lacing system. So, yeah, they really stepped it up there. Yes. Best outdoor shoe. Uh, there's two shoes, and I give it to the Kobe Pro Tro and the uh, Leaning Wild 7. Yeah. We know they're not the cheapest shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, you know, the best outdoor shoes, regardless of price. So. Yeah, I mean, like, you want a little bit of cushion for outdoor use. The cushion is awesome in those shoes, and the traction that it feels real durable and the uh, materials the upper it's also really durable as well with the leather and like the overlay in the wild seven so uh there's that uh last but not least is the best ankle support mm -hmm. and that's there's two shoes for that as well for me and that is the Kyrie 5 and the pro tro 
Um, they're, they're really, really good for ankle support. They restrict ankle support. I mean, they restrict ankle movement a little bit. Um, but also, I played with uh, with them with an ankle an ankle brace, and um, I use an a ASO ankle brace, and it really, really restricts my ankle movement. So it's it, it felt really supported, and I it felt like I couldn't you know roll my ankle at all. I, I would say maybe the Under Armour Havoc High. Right, hover havoc high yeah. or mid or whatever they're calling it would be good. Also, if we just didn't test it. Yeah, we tested you know, low. Yeah, it, t it goes up really high on the ankle, so we were speculating that it would be um, good you know, yeah. for ankle support. But anyways, that is our awards for 2018. 2019 is coming up. And Do you guys excited. agree? Um, Did we blow it? Um, yeah. Let us know in the comments. There's gonna be some disagreement, obviously, yeah. but it's just our opinion. These are facts, um, dog. It's our opinion. Uh, if you guys want to get any of these, any of these shoes, we'll leave links below. Um, but yeah, if you guys disagree, just tell us why you would disagree and you know what and why you're wrong. <laughs> this guy. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for sticking with us through 2018. We're looking forward to 2019. Yeah. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Peace.